Retired General Forrest McCartney did not actually graduate from Auburn University. Rather, he obtained his electrical engineering degree in 1952 from Alabama Polytechnic Institute, which we all know later became Auburn University. From there, he had a distinguished career with NASA, which included a stint as director of the Kennedy Space Center. When I can sit in front of a group of students and talk about what it means to be an Auburn engineer <clears throat> and begin to make examples, I can say, uh, for example, there have been three Auburn engineers that were director of the Kennedy Space Center, and he was one of those. You know, probably not many schools can say that. Forrest, during his college career, was a member of Ada Kappa Nu, which was an honorary engineering fraternity. And besides that, he was a member of Scabbard and Blade, and the Arnold Air Society. So he came up with some real good grades in Auburn, plus he was active in the military department. And that's how he got his commission when he finished college. After graduating from API as a distinguished Air Force ROTC graduate, McCartney began his active duty military career at Robbins Air Force Base in Georgia. From there, he went on to further his education with the Air Force by studying nuclear engineering at the Air Force Institute of Technology. Upon graduation in 1955, McCartney was then assigned to the Air Force Special Weapons Center, Kirtland Air Force Base, New Mexico. Just three years later, he was named an Orbit Satellite Command Officer at the Satellite Test Center in Sunnyvale, California. He was involved in many aspects of uh, the Air Force before truly moving into uh, the space arena. He rose to be the commander of the ballistic missile office and then he was uh, commander of the space division. He had a similar responsibility there for all of the orbiting uh, hardware that the services used uh, for communicating uh, with our combat forces, which is a, a huge uh, responsibility. Systems such as GPS, space communication, and space-based surveillance were initially developed and fielded under General Forrest McCartney's leadership. He always had good ideas for us to build snow in or for us to uh, do something in the neighborhood to have a good time. And, He's just a born leader, I think. Standing out among McCartney's long list of credentials are his strong leadership skills. He is well known for being an extremely personable man whose distinct management style was marked by his ability to stay personally connected with employees at all levels, regardless of rank or title. A remarkable characteristic not customarily found in managers at such high technical levels. And he's got the kind of personality that can talk to anybody. A man that had worked with him in the Kennedy Space Center said that Forrest had the ability to talk to somebody on a low level and then he could turn right around the next minute and be talking to a technician. He is very outgoing, very personable, uh, likes a good joke. He's quick to tell you how good people are and to pump them up and show that uh, he appreciates the work that they do. Forrest McCartney is a problem solver. He said, well, have you thought about putting uh, a flat screen TV in the old cabinet? And I said, yes, I've thought about it a lot, but it just doesn't happen and no one seems to be able to tell me it can be done. And he said, well, I don't want to talk you into anything, but if you want one in there, we'll put it in today. So I said, I'd like to have that. So he and Ruth and I went back to the mountain to get his mini tools because I only had a hammer and a screwdriver. And so we came back, went to Walmart, bought a TV, came home, and within a few hours, I had a brand new TV in my old cabinet. He had to deal with all of the issues that uh, resulted in uh, that uh, devastation uh, of the Challenger and get the shuttle program back on track. And he did. In 1986, following the Challenger shuttle accident, Forrest McCartney was assigned to NASA as the director of the Kennedy Space Center. 
the excellent safety record for launches or incidents after the Challenger accident are due to Forrest's expertise, knowledge, and management. I think there were like 19 launches during his tenure. You know, it was because of his efforts that you might say that the shuttle program was saved. Forrest was director of the Kennedy Space Center for five years. And the man took, it, took over after Forrest said, you know, the one thing I remember about him and the one thing that really stands out is he left me a smooth running organization. His management of the Space Center resulted in the return of shuttles to flight. For this accomplishment alone, McCartney could receive a Lifetime Achievement Award. However, there are many more accomplishments to his credit that include being a four-time recipient of the Air Force Commendation Medal, receiving Distinguished Service Medals from both the U.S. Air Force and NASA, winning the Von Braun Award for Space Program Management and induction into both the Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Hall of Fame, and most recently, in 2006, the State of Alabama Engineering Hall of Fame. If you read his uh, list of accomplishments and awards, um, you'll see that he has gone all the way through his life doing the very best he can in whatever he does. Today, there is a program in the Air Force for junior officers, which promotes educational development and partnership with industry. The program, as well as the award that recognizes the most outstanding junior space officer, is named after General McCartney. He is a, a continual supporter, monetarily, of uh, our efforts and will always ask, you know, where, where's your greatest needs? I don't know much about Auburn, but I know that any time he talks about Auburn, it is in a very positive manner, and he's proud to be an Auburn Tiger. He's very proud of his association with Auburn, and has been for many years. Retired General Forrest McCartney now lives with his wife Ruth in Indian Harbor Beach, Florida, the Space Coast, just minutes away from Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral, and Satellite Beach. I would say that Forrest has a right-hand man and that is his wife, Ruth. They are just a pair and very supportive of each other. And they have two girls, Worthy and Margaret, and I don't know of a, anybody that's more proud of their children than Ruth and Forrest. Even in retirement, he continues to stay plugged into the latest happenings in the space industry. However, his pursuit of perfection may now lie in a slightly different arena. If you get a few points ahead on him, you can rest assured that he's going to come right by and get you. Oh, don't ever challenge him to play racquetball because he'll, he'll skin you alive. He is very, very good. When it comes to the job, you would not find anyone more professional than Forrest McCartney. Uh, Forrest McCartney is a fine friend He's a fine man to be around, he's fun to be around, and he will give you the shirt off his back if you need it. Forrest is a great man of character. He has great integrity, he has drive and determination, and he is a great patriot. I would characterize him as one of the greatest patriots that I have ever met. When I first started talking to Forrest about me nominating him for the Lifetime Achievement Award at Auburn, he didn't want to do it. He's a, he's a modest man. He didn't want to be bragging on himself at all. I know that the recognition that you're giving Forrest today for his lifetime achievement means a lot to him. I think Forrest realizes what Auburn did for him. I think he realizes that his beginning started there in the military, and I think he will always look at Auburn with a warm spot in his heart. This is kind of an award from your family, and that means a lot. Forrest's influence can be felt in numerous aspects of our U.S. space program. He has become a living definition of excellence in the Auburn Engineering Program, and for that, we are grateful. And tonight, the Auburn Alumni Association salutes his efforts. I would like to introduce uh, the individual that, uh, from my perspective, uh, saved America's uh, shuttle program and has made it possible for us to continue our efforts with the International Space Station. Sir, we would like
like to tell you how honored I am to have been recognized and received such a prestigious award. I would like to very much thank and I'll tell you how much I appreciate the Alumni Association for, for uh, uh, giving me this award. I am uh, I'm just uh, almost without words, almost. <laughs> but also, thank you would be appropriate if I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, say a special thanks to the many sta Auburn staff and faculty members in the late uh, 40s and the early 50s that helped me here acquire the skills that uh, served me well during my career. And lastly, I guess I would like to say thanks very much to the many friends who have come tonight to share with Miss Ruth and my two daughters a very wonderful evening, and we do appreciate you coming and sharing that with us. A deep thanks to uh, our country for what it has done for us. God bless each and every one of you. God bless our country and war eagle. Thank you.